But anyway, get healthy for yourself. If you love yourself, get healthy for yourself. When your loved ones encourage you to lose weight, most of the time they're not trying to hurt your feelings. Most of the time they care about you so much that they don't want you going through things they probably went through or going through now, or they don't want to see you suffer as time goes on. Because like me, high blood pressure, diabetes, cancer, all that runs in my family closely. I've been thankful enough not to have diabetes, even though I am overweight and I've been overweight most of my life. I've seen the hurt and the pain my grandfather went through while he was alive. Both his legs were amputated. His finger was amputated not before he died. And he was miserable. He took it out on the bus. That's how miserable he was. He couldn't work. He couldn't use his hands. He was bound to a wheelchair. He just lost hope. So easy. So that's why I need to get myself healthy. Lose this life. You need to lose this chin. You know, I'd be like, I'm just playing. But, um, just get healthy for you. You need to care about yourself. So, the things I was just chewing on, you had that craving. And you know you already ate. Or it's late night. You know you should be eating at the 9 o'clock. It's usually 8, but 9 o'clock. Do not eat the things. Chew some gum. Drink some water. And one thing with these diet, not diet, but cleansing, things are just, you have to drink, like, at least five glasses of water anyways. So you give me your good water, and I don't drink sodas. I hate them. They mess with my throat. It's too much acid for me, so I don't drink them. I drink Grady Ray, Poway, water, green tea, to lift the can. I know that sugar's still in there, but I love it. That's my, that's my drill. We lift the green tea. So, I drink Kool-Aid from time to time, but not all the time, because I'm not the one fixing it. I'm not going to go in there and fix it. So, water, doing something to crave your hunger, cleansing your body, detoxing it, getting it ready to be healthier, and regular doctor checkups. That's modern living, healthy living, and eating breakfast, a good healthy breakfast. You start your day out good, you will find that you will not be hungry until it is lunchtime. So, and a good night's sleep is good to me, so, I don't get good sleep, just to be honest, I get up at 6 o'clock in the morning, I ain't slept once, then I fall asleep, and we go right back at 11, and I've been working a job, I don't know why, but I guess it's me changing, and getting used to sleeping and being healthy for myself. So, I know that all the other ladies will have more information. I'm just showing you what I know and what I've been doing and what's been keeping me going. Oh, one more thing. Exercise it is once a week. Then, in case you do that every once a week, do it twice a week. And increase it as you get used to it. Increase. Keep your body going. Keep your body working hard. Because you get used to working at the top limit you can. And always hydrate yourself. So, thanks for watching. Peace out.